Hi everybody. You know what I'm gonna make today? You know, upside down pizza. <laughs> a square one too, see? Can make it around. Anyway, upside down, so it's gonna be pepperoni, ground beef, mozzarella. I got this rolled up Pillsbury pizza dough, pizza crust, pre-made already. And it's round, but I'm gonna make a square one. I had a small cake pan I was gonna use, but I wanted it this size use any dough you happen to have. Mmm. Yeah, that's good dough. Let me lay this out while I get ready. Upside down. Look it. Yeah, it's gonna work. Lay there. Rise! First, since it's upside down, I'm gonna put my pepperoni down. Pepperoni. I do. I don't know if you can see in here. Maybe you want to come over and watch. I don't know. How's it look? Pepperoni. Much as you want. I'm going to bake this in the oven. You could do it in the air fryer, which I was going to do, but more people have ovens than have air fryers. Right? Extra pepperoni. I'm hungry. You know that? Yes. More? That's enough? More. A little bit, a little bit. Meat lovers. Ooh, I know I have some mushrooms. I'm going to get them out, too. Could put onion in there. Oh yeah, I'm put some garlic in there. I have some of that minced garlic, I believe. I do believe. Look at this. Pepperoni, ground beef, upside down. Try it. <laughs> Whoa, just the right amount. Now, let me get my mushrooms. Hang on. Got my mushrooms. Could have used it all. Could have used a whole jar, huh? Well, that's gonna be good. I got some chopped minced garlic that is very convenient for things like this. Think that's enough? Think that's enough? Mm -hmm. Think that's enough? Think that's enough? <laughs> uh, cheese. That's how my pieces are upside down. Mozzarella. Fella. Oh yeah! Fill up your pan. We're not making this real thick like lasagna. We're making it like pizza. Nice pizza that I like. Hey, how'd that pepper get up there? Next I have some pizza sauce, but you could use spaghetti sauce or nothing. Not too much now. So. Mm hmm. Can I add a little more? That's good. I'm making this pizza. My oven is preheated to 350. You might hear it beep in a second. I'm just going to take this crust and put it on top. That's it, right? I'm done. Oh, I'm going to put some of this there, man. Marble. Yeah, you could put anything else on there, oregano. What do you like? Onions, onions, uh, onion powder, sriracha. Oh, you hear my stomach growl? Hey, was my stomach. Here we go. We're gonna make it square. You fit a, a round crust into a square pan, like this. It's okay. It's a little lumpy. You go straighten out. Yeah, there's my upside down pizza. Meets a pizza for me. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. That's 
it. I believe that's it. I was afraid this was olive oil, maybe, man. What do you think of that idea? Let me get some olive oil spray. I mean, it's pretty good. What do you think? A little olive oil spray on there. <laughs> Put it in the oven for 25 minutes. Going in. 350 degrees. We'll be back. That's gonna be my lunch for today. All right. All right. I'm gonna get that out of the oven with my bare hands. Bare hands. Woo! It looks good. It looks good. <laughs> now I'm gonna let this rest set up. So when I cut it, listen to it. Pizza crust. I'm gonna cut it in squares and get it out. After it rests for maybe 10 minutes. Back to 10 minutes. There it is. My upside down pizza. Let it cool a little while. Let's cut into it. Yeah, it firmed up nice. Remember, I didn't want it as thick as the pan because that would be crazy. <laughs> solid, solid, solid. I'm gonna we'll get out of here now. Need a big spatula? And this one won't work better? It's gonna be alright. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, look. Should I flip it over? Or eat it like that? Oh, I flipped it over. Look what I got there. Extra. Man, that looked good. All right, I thought I was gonna maybe eat it upside down, but I might eat it like this. Like pizza. Upside down, look. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. I don't know why it tastes so much better. Do you? You've never had nothing like that. Mmm, mushrooms, garlic. You remember what's in there? Upside down pizza pie. Crunchy crust. Mmm. Mmm. So you know this is a real meat lover's pizza. You can make it with what you like if you don't like meat. And the crust is crispier, crunchier than if it was right side up. And of course I didn't put the cheese down first because I didn't want the cheese to be all gooey in there. Which I think it's perfect. What are you worried about? Mmm. Alright. Mmm. Thanks for stopping by, watching me make this fantastic creation. Try it. <laughs> it's real good. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Make it round, cut it like a pizza. If you got a bigger pan. Have a nice day. Stay warm. It's 27 degrees where I live. Remember, I don't like that cold weather. Talk to you soon. Please subscribe. I'm going to eat this. Oh, yeah.